Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, and SSI beneficiaries. Is there a raise to monthly checks with executive order? That's a great question and exactly what we're going to focus on right here in the video. So let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to specifically focus on fixed income benefits administered by the Social Security Administration, including the millions upon millions of beneficiaries I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And is there actually a raise to monthly checks with executive order and can this even be done in the first place? These are great questions and exactly what I want to answer and focus on here in the video. Let's get right into it. Really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm here for you right by your side every single day doing all the research and watching all this new information, hitting the wire and breaking it down into these short videos so you can stay posted on what is actually going on and how it's going to impact you your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, anything popping up right now, you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. So again, I'm here for you. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about the details of these questions, the concerns, and what many people here in the community have been asking down below in the comment section here over the last several months. And as of recently, I've seen this popping up a number of times. All right, so let's talk about all the details because we know that right now it is a pretty important time. We know that there will be raises to checks and monthly benefits for about 70 million beneficiaries. We do know this, right? This is a thing. However, is this coming as a result of executive order? And is this even a thing that the president can do? All right, so let me talk you through the details of this because this is actually a little bit of an interesting situation. Now, we all completely recognize the president has special abilities, right? Special powers, essentially what it comes down to. The president can write executive orders, basically bypassing Congress to do some things. Does this mean everything? No, not even close. In fact, the president cannot do everything through executive order. It must go through the traditional process of passing through the House, passing through the Senate, opening it up for debate and all kinds of things like this and amendments. And then, of course, on top of that, going to the president's desk and signing it into law with that signature, right? That is a traditional process. Now, obviously, there's a little bit more to it than that. But again, that is kind of the general process of how things go. Most pieces of legislation. However, there are certain things that the president can just completely bypass Congress and sign it with a, just an executive order. Boom. Done, right? Well, wait, that sounds pretty awesome. Can he do this for something like raises to monthly checks? Well... Let's talk through the details about that. When it comes down to reforming, now remember this much as well. If we were to raise benefits, as in raise fixed income benefits administered by Social Security, that would essentially be reforming Social Security, right? Now, the president could essentially send out checks to people, but it would not necessarily be through Social Security. It would be more like uh, like a one-off check or something like that. That could essentially be done through, so, um, sorry, that could be essentially done through executive order. Now, again, I can talk about that in a separate video, but when it comes down to raising benefits, as in permanently or even temporarily raising benefits for fixed income beneficiaries, that's a great question. And this is where the gray area comes in because there's a lot of things that can be done through executive order, but reforming Social Security is not one of those things. Can't be done through Social Security or through exec executive order. They cannot do that, okay? So as a result of that, any raises that may be coming in for fixed income benefits, like those that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and any fixed income benefits administered by Social Security that I may not have mentioned, like spousal benefits, or you know, there's a whole list of benefits out there that I didn't mention as well. But any of these that I may not have mentioned, or any of them that I did that are administered by the Social Security Administration, any reform to Social Security cannot be done through executive order, okay? That must go through Congress. They have to do that. So when it comes down to any talk that we've been hearing, as of recently anyway, Way, we've been hearing a lot of talk about the COLA raise, right? The cost of living adjustment, the annual adjustment to benefits every single year, right? Does that have anything to do with the president? No, not at all whatsoever. It has nothing to do with the president. So I've seen some information coming out saying like, oh, Biden approved, you know, raises to benefits. No, he didn't. 
Uh, the cola has nothing to do with the president, okay? And this is not me taking sides politically with or against the president or anybody like that. It simply doesn't have anything to do with the president. It doesn't matter the party. It doesn't matter the uh, political affiliation. It has nothing to do with the president. It all comes down to inflation, like we've talked about so many times here over the last several months. That is what predicates the actual raise to benefits through the cola. So if you've been seeing any information out there saying, oh, the president did it, it's a, it's a one-off raise to benefits because of the president. Not that, not the cola, uh, not happening. It's not because of the president, not at all. The president has nothing to do with that. Now, here's the thing. If the president were to make some decisions and decide, I'm going to raise inflation by printing a ton of money and doing all this stuff, you know, obviously that still has to go through Congress as well, um, a lot of it anyway. But basically, if the president came forward with some policies, essentially, to change things where inflation goes through the roof, like what we saw in 2022, that would be a situation where inflation has gone up and therefore indirectly raising benefits for uh, beneficiaries because inflation has now gone up. Therefore, the COLA is now higher. So I guess that could be somewhat of an indirect uh, raise to benefits through the COLA. But again, that would just be a matter of changes in policy, not necessarily like, hey, guys, I'm going to write an executive order to raise benefits. Does that kind of make sense? So for those of you that have been asking down below in the comments section, I hope this answers and better understands the situation. But when it comes down to it, think of it this way. Social Security cannot be changed, reformed, or basically anything about it without going through Congress. It must go through Congress. It cannot have uh, an executive order written and just change Social Security for when it comes down to these big things, okay? Some things can be done through executive order. Not changing Social Security. That has to be done through Congress, okay? So good old Congress, right? We all are huge fans, right? I know, <laughs> I know, I can I can hear all the, the hooting and hollering out there, right? All the people saying, oh yeah, we love Congress, they're great. What a great group of people. I don't think I've ever heard that in the history of time. I don't think anybody has ever said that. Maybe one person has, but I doubt it. Probably not too many, right? So anyway, that comes down to Congress. So when it comes down to it, uh, if you've seen any information out there talking about, you know, the cola coming and big raises coming from Biden, nope. Not happening. Not an executive order anyway. Maybe. Now, here's another thing I want to throw through as well. We have seen piece of legislation out there, you know, some of which some plans, some ideas, some things like this, some proposals to change Social Security from the president. We've seen some of those out there. Uh, but does that mean that it's an executive order? No, we have a lot of piece of legislation out there through many lawmakers out there who want to change Social Security, reform the program, raise benefits. For example, like Bernie Sanders with the Social Security Expansion Act, right? That would raise benefits by $200 a month. That's just a piece of legislation that's out there. That does not mean it's an executive order, right? It just means that there's legislation. Now, the president also has some plans and ideas to change Social Security and reform the program as well. But again, it's not an executive order, right? Anyway, hope this explains it. So I just want to bring this to your attention. What's going on here? Uh, there's a lot of other things the president can do with executive order, but it cannot be one of these things. Now, again, could there be a highly focused some type of one-off check, like a stimulus check or you know something like uh, an inflation relief check or whatever you want to call it? It's going to have some kind of fancy name, you know, something like that. Could the president do that through executive order? Technically, could. Yeah, could do that. But if that's not raising benefits. That's just basically a one-off, like one-off payment or something like that, if that makes sense, right? So anyway, hope that kind of makes sense for you to help you understand the situation. I know it's a little bit confusing, right? Some can, some can't, some sounds like an executive order, but it's really not. There's all kinds of details like that. But I hope this helps you to understand the situation. And of course, I'll be here for you in any way that I can be, watching all the details and bringing it to you as soon as it hits the wire right here in these short videos. So again, leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. If you want me to elaborate on this further, of course, I can come back and make another dedicated video. Otherwise, I do my best to answer those questions down below in the comments section. Uh, I try to do as many as I possibly can each and every day. Um, other than that, just hope this one helps you. Again, I'll keep you posted on other things going on right now. There's a lot of talk about there uh, to, about changing Social Security, reforming the program, raising the benefits, increasing solvency, pushing out the full retirement age. The list goes on and on. We've talked about it many times in other videos. Either way, enjoy your day. Hope this helps you. Again, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And hope this answers the questions for those of you here in the community that have been wondering all this. And again, 
I just want to do what I can to help you out and understand the situation. I know there's a lot of information out there right now. I see a lot of it every single day. I see the confusion. It's no surprise that everybody, and there's a lot of people confused about what's going on because there's a lot of information out there. And realistically, some of it is honestly not very good. So I'm here for you any way that it can be. Enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one and catch you again later.